Hello, it's Nicolette and welcome to my French apartment. I am currently living in Toulouse in the south of France and this is my apartment. We're not doing the tour yet. Hold on one sec. I just want to tell you a little bit about this apartment and how I found it. Also, sorry, I have been meaning to film this video for four months. I moved in here towards the end of last year and it just hasn't been happening. I have been so busy. I have a job. I am going to school in a totally different language. I went to Paris for two weeks and I learned how to make neon art, which was super fun, but I came home with this burn. It's dangerous. Don't try it at home. Anyway, yeah, I've been very busy and I was also like, oh, I kind of want to make this apartment cuter before I film the video, but you know what? I'm cute, it's cute, you're cute, like we're filming the damn video. I thought that finding an apartment in France was going to be a long, horrendous, difficult affair. Surprisingly, no. This was the first apartment that I looked at. I looked at two, I looked at one after this and it was smaller, more expensive and not in a gray area. So this one by a landslide. And thankfully they thought I was a good candidate and they picked me. I did need to pay for a service to get a garante, which is basically a French person who will vouch for you and be like, if this person dies or disappears from the face of the earth, I'll pay the rent. So they have services. If you don't know a French person who can vouch for you, you can use a Gahant service. But other than that, pretty straightforward. Um, I found this apartment on Facebook. I almost didn't go look at it. I almost canceled the showing because I don't know, it felt a little sketchy. It was on Facebook. The pictures were really low quality and like dark and blurry. So, you know, don't judge an apartment by its Facebook photos because I love this place. It's perfect. It's in a really quiet, cute neighborhood. It's like a 15, 20 minute walk from my school. It's just everything I could ask for. It's so exciting because this is the first time I have ever lived on my own. I've always had roommates. Before this, I was living in a house in Los Angeles and I had like, at one point I had like four or five roommates and we had one bathroom and it was just, it, I was very ready to end that chapter of my life. That's enough talking. Let's get on to the fun part. Hello? You're here? Well, come on up. Shall we take a tour? Ta-da! This is it. Welcome. Living room. The reading nook. The office. The kitchen. And upstairs, yes, there are stairs in this apartment, the bedroom and the bathroom, and a lovely view. Well, it's like 50% a lovely view because we have that, and then we have a parking lot that I just avoid looking at, but that's cute. That's real cute. In case you couldn't tell, I really like birds, actual birds, and also um, Hitchcock's The Birds. You can tell that a film nerd lives here because the vertigo poster and okay this is like my prized possession Antonioni blow up poster I really wanted a blow up poster because a blow up is like one of my favorite films but all of the posters are this like bright red that just like wasn't working with the color palette I was going for and I found this one I just went into this store in Toulouse that sells movie posters and movies and I found this and it's perfect. I love it. Anyway, okay. This apartment came unfurnished. Well, okay, I'm lying. This It came with this, this table and the mini fridge. Oh, and a, um, a washer, which is upstairs, which is great because my neighbor apparently, they didn't have anything. They didn't have a mini fridge, they didn't have a washer, nothing. But luckily I moved into this apartment during like Black Friday. So I just was able to shop on the interwebs for all of this at a discount. Going for a kind of boho chic vibe here. 
Over here is, uh, this is under construction. I want to have a shelf here to display my internet router and these plants that I am desperately trying to keep alive, but really failing at. There were four, but now there are three because I'm just, I'm, I'm great at killing plants, guys. It's like one of my strong suits. I am shocked that those are still alive. But yeah, I want to get a shelf here, okay? But I'm like very specific. The inspo is this like very expensive one from CB2. It's more expensive than the rent on this apartment. So we're not going with that, but like that's the vibe, okay? I've yet to find that. Oh, also like thought this was super cute, right? And then someone was like, oh, this looks like the Michelin man. And I cannot unsee that. I just, I can't. Do I have to replant this? Because like, I don't know. We're just gonna have to live with it. The Michelin pot. The elephant in the room is probably, why is my desk like that? Um, there are so many other options of where to put this desk, right? Like against the wall in this open area or like straight and not at a weird angle. But let me tell you, I have tried many iterations of desk placement. And this is what I came up with. I feel like there is a really solid flow of energy, of chi, you know, from the desk to the door, to the window, to the wall. That's why it is basically in the middle of the room, in case you were wondering. Um, anyway, let's uh, tour the kitchen. The only two appliances I own because I just, I just don't know how to cook. I have a total of two pans, which I, rarely use um and yeah not a lot of fridge space fun fact this used to be neon green you can tell because they only painted up to here so <laughs> that was fun that's probably a party honestly like i would be okay if it was still neon green it's like kind of cute kind of funky what else oh um lots of storage space which i have chaotically utilized this is just like how my brain's organized, kind of. <laughs> um, got a little bookshelf moment with some, with some very optimistic titles. The Denial of Death, Cruel Optimism, A Season in Hell, Utopia. Uh, yeah, apparently this is why I am single and have the sense of humor that I do. Moving on to, oh, oh, my plant corner. I'm, I almost forgot the plant corner. Um, these are magically still alive. They had a sign on them that was basically like, this is the section with plants that are very difficult to kill. And I was like, those were made for me. Yet somehow I have still um, managed to kill them a little bit. But you know what? These are thriving on the Nico plant scale, like thriving. Bought them a cute little stool to sit on. And now let's go upstairs. Can you believe it? Can you believe I have stairs in my apartment? Incredible. Sometimes, sometimes I just sit here. I just sit on the stairs and look out my window. This is a two story apartment. Really living a life of luxury. Like honestly, I never thought this would happen, but it did. And here, is the bedroom. The bed takes up most of the upstairs, but it's a big bed. Like this, I think this is the biggest bed I've ever had in my life. I spent the first like 25 years of my life living in a twin bed. I'm short, so it was okay. But you know what, this is, this is luxury. I read somewhere that in feng shui, if you put pink on your bed, it will attract romance into your life. Uh, TBD if that actually works, I'll let you know. So far I've only been on a few failed French dates, but you know, I'm young, I'm in France, and I just put these pink bed sheets on my bed. So we're gonna give it some time for the feng shui magic to work. Exposed closet situation. Oh my God, I almost forgot to tell you about the brick. Okay, so this is like, weird squishy faux brick that is not doing too well. 
but I'm afraid to take it off because I'm afraid the whole wall will look like this. But downstairs, I took some before pictures and let's just roll the tape. I don't know what they were thinking, but yeah, they were really, whoever lived here before me was very into faux brick. Literally the woman that showed me this apartment was like, oh yeah, the girl who used to live here fancied herself a designer, but I think this looks ugly. And I was like, wow, okay, we're going there. But yeah, I completely agree with you. Um, so that was the first thing that went. And now I just have white walls. Like it's even, look at this. This is, it's not holding up well. I just don't look at that wall a lot. Okay, moving on to the least exciting room, the bathroom. But I have a washer, which is incredible because now I don't need to go to the laundromat. I have a little, uh, sorry, I'm losing my English. What is, what is the word for this? I don't know, it's a little dryer situation. You know, you can dry your clothes, heat up your towel, the sink, you know, some shelving. Very large shower. Like this is like, you have a party in here. This, this will fit multiple people. I've yet to try that. But again, you know, I'm young. We've got time. I bought this rug for two euros. And I've got a view from my bedroom. Look at this. Cute, right? Ugh, I love it. I love it. That's the tour. That's it. Um, I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more. And yeah, let me know in the comments what kind of videos you want to see. Um, and if you have any design recommendations for what I should do with this white wall, for example. So many possibilities. Okay, that's all. Peace out. Ciao.